All right, what is up, guys? You're back with Door Kickers 2. We have Nightbird, Secure and Extract the Enemy HVT Alive. This is one of the new missions from the Tiny Troubles 3. Uh, we're tracking cell pings from possible henchmen of an arms dealer we want to bring in, and we might have a jackpot for it tonight. You need to check the site and abduct whatever person of interest you can find. Arrest and extract any HVT. This location is secluded and deep in enemy territory, so the squad should be small and stealthy. This HVT, if present, is known to be skittish and will surely flee if something feels off. Cut his escape route and don't cause a ruckus until you're in position to act decisively. Okay, um, so we're going to be using the FBI uh, HRT mod. Uh, I don't want to do like the whole CIA stealth thing um, because I feel like we're going after a freaking arms dealer, big time arms dealer who has like, you know, private security and crap. And if they're doing some sort of meet here, like Joe Schmo, the ragman walking down on their meet uh, is going to be, hey, get out of here or be shot. And I have a feeling in this mission, you can probably just walk around wherever you want. So uh, I don't want to do that. We're just going to be trying to do this. Uh, with just, you know, the normal, normal stuff. Um, now I'm trying to think. We have a gate. We have all this. Huh. Let's scope this out. Let's, let's kind of scope this out. We'll leave him there. Again, we only have two guys, cause, so there's an enemy right there. Just do a little bit of limited penetration. Okay. I don't really want to go that way because I'm going to have to shoot that guy. And then uh, probably the gig's up at that point. So again, we'll just be practicing two-man movements and CQB practices. I was going to say, please kill him. I don't want to, like, overexpose. Guessing they heard that. Let's throw. Can I throw flashbangs? Oh, I can't make it that far. Hold up. And go. Alpha. Go. Uh, we'll throw one here. Then we'll throw one like here. And then we're gonna have to go, like now. Okay, looks like we got our guy. Hands behind your back. Okay.
we're just gonna go back the same way we came in we just need to make sure that we're still being cognizant of re-clearing everything And we'll have to check behind us every now and then. Make sure there's nobody coming up behind us. And I'll tell this guy to hold for just one second with that. There we go. go so not too bad let's uh let's watch the replay All right, so I mean, pretty, uh, pretty fast. Um, it, I guess the biggest thing with this mission is just trying to make sure the guy doesn't escape and you don't alert him to your presence, you know, which is kind of hard to do. But again, I, I feel like it'd be a little gimmicky using like the CIA guys and like sneaking past everybody or whatever and like, or, you know, what I mean, um, if if Joe Schmo the Ragman was walking up on this. Uh, I mean, they're not just going to be like, yeah, come on over and stand right here. Or, you know, uh, you know, have two guys stand here behind all the freaking bad guys and, and like it, it wouldn't happen. Um, so I wanted to try to make this somewhat more authentic, <laughs> you know. Um, yeah, but that's that's pretty much it for that. Uh, if you guys play this one, let me know how it goes for you. Because I, I mean... It's, it, it's a quick one. Uh, kind of a little bit different of a mission, I suppose, than what we typically see. Because this one's kind of a, like, uh, most of the time, if it's, a, if it's an uh, HVT extract, uh, the HVT has to make it pretty far, you know, to get to the extract. Um, and this time, this this guy was, like, right here. And the, there was an extract here, and then an extract, like, over here. Um, so, you know, you really did have to kind of move fast to, to make sure you got them. But other than that, guys, that's, uh, that's all I got. I'll see you on the next one.